About 65 million years ago, 75% of plant and animal species suddenly went extinct. Coincidentally, 65 million years ago is when a 15 km wide asteroid hit in the Gulf of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. It released the equivalent energy of several million nuclear weapons detonating simultaneously. Such an event devastated life on Earth. With the dinosaurs gone, the extinction event left the power vacuum which set the stage for the age of mammals. In this video, we will see a size comparison face-off between some of the largest extinct mammals and one of the most successful predators of all time, the notorious T-Rex. Number 5. Arctotherium angus titans Arctotherium is an extinct genus of the Central and South American short-faced bears. Within the nearest day of the Pleistocene, its large size has been attributed to increased competition from other later arriving carnivorans, such as Jaguar or Simlodon. It was the largest mammalian carnivore of all time. Many scientists think it evolved its large size to intimidate other smaller predators to give up their hard-earned prey. But large seems relative when facing off a T-Rex. Although Arctotherium angustidens weighed 1,749 kilograms with a height of 3.5 meters when standing on two legs, it would most likely run as fast as it could with its fluffy tail between its legs if it saw a Tyrannosaurus rex. Number 4. Megatherium Megatherium means great beast in Greek. It was a genus of elephant-sized ground sloths endemic to South America, sometimes called the giant ground sloth that lived from early Pleistocene through to the end of the Pleistocene. The largest species of them all was Megatherium americanum, weighing up to four tons and measuring up to six meters in length from head to tail. Although Megatherium is one of the largest known land mammals to have existed, it would not stand any chance and would only be a nice juicy snack for the T-Rex. Number three, Elasmotherium. Elastotherium is an extinct genus of large rhinoceros endemic to Eurasia during the late Pleistocene, existing from 2.6 million years ago to at least as late as 39,000 years ago in the late Pleistocene. The best known species of this genus is Elasmotherium sibiricum, almost famously known as the Siberian unicorn. It reached up to 4.5 meters in body length with shoulder heights of 2 meters and weighed 4.5 tons. Its large, thick horn on its forehead was used for defense, but it would not pose a challenge to the T-Rex as the Tyrannosaurus preyed on much larger mammals like the Triceratops with much scarier horns. Number two, woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth is an extinct species of mammoth that lived during the Pleistocene until its extinction in the early Holocene epoch. Its closest extant relative is the Asian elephant. The appearance and behavior of this species are among the best studied of any prehistoric animal because of the discovery of frozen carcasses in Siberia and Alaska. The woolly mammoth was roughly the same size as modern African elephants. Males reached shoulder heights between 2.7 and 3.4 meters and weighed up to six metric tons. If the woolly mammoth lived in the same age as the T-Rex, it would probably go extinct in a single generation as it was relatively slow moving and wouldn't be able to show much resistance. Number one, Panacerotherium. Panacerotherium is an extinct genus of hornless rhinoceros and the largest known terrestrial mammal that has ever existed. It lived from the early to late Oligocene, existing for about 11 million years. Its remains have been found across Eurasia, between China and the Balkans. It had a shoulder height of 4.8 meters with a length of 7.4 meters. Its weight was estimated to have been between 15 to 20 tons. Because of its size, it would have had few predators. But if it lived in the same time period as the Trinosaurus, it would be a welcome meal menu option for the Rex. So even if the largest land mammals that ever existed were not to stand a chance against the T-Rex, it has truly earned its name as the king of the tyrant lizards. 